In this video, you will learn how to stake out line and arc elements and get a short introduction to offsetting a line with your icon field solution. This is a very common use of an icon field rover when preparing a job site for construction, so you must become confident in doing this. Lines are normally staked out to build or construct an object. Staked out lines are often marked with spray marking or stakes in the ground. This video is a very basic stakeout introduction where we focus on two tasks. One, spray mark on the road base or ground where the excavator must dig a trench for concrete and curb. Two, offset the lines horizontally half a meter to place road pins marked with elevation for the curb crew. Here we show you the principles using very simple example data, but the data you will encounter on job sites will most likely be more advanced. First, let us agree on the difference between measure and stakeout. We measure what is built or exists. We stake out what is yet to come or be built. We start in the home menu of icon field. Confirm we are in the correct project, like a road. And the job is day one. We select stakeout. Remember to check for good coordinate quality, the correct pole height, and measure mode, which you can learn about in the video Measure Points in Leica Icon Field. In this exercise, we navigate to get close to the planned location of the island. Zoom in so we have a clear view of the line elements. Now we see that the island consists of two arcs and two straight line elements. To begin staking out the first arc, tap on it. The selected arc will light up blue. Your current radial distance to the arc will be displayed, and an arrow guides you to the correct direction. Note, a line and arc will always have a starting point and an ending point. The information bar shows the distance to the segment and how far from the line starting point you will arrive on it. Task 1. Since we are taken out for Curb Island, we will use spray marking on the surface. The excavator crew can then easily see the line where the concrete and curb need to be. In this example, we only stake out the horizontal position. And to make it simple, we just spray a mark approximately every 20 centimeters. We recommend measuring and logging all your staked out points. They may be important for the project quality assurance. To learn how to generate a stakeout report, see the video Stakeout Points in Leica Icon Field. Once the first arc is staked out, we continue with a straight line segment. Tap the segment on the screen. The selected line will light up blue. Since this is a single line element and not a polyline, it will be extended with a dotted line. This makes it easy to make stakeout beyond the start and end points of the line. Now it is the same procedure to navigate to the line using the distance information and the arrow. Arriving on the line, we continue to spray mark the line onto the surface. Repeat the procedure to stake out the second arc and the second straight line element. Task 1 is now completed. The position of the curb island is spray marked on the ground and the excavator crew can start digging. Task 2 is to insert road pins in the ground offset by 0.5 meters from the line and include the target elevation for the curb crew. When the line is selected, press the toolbox. Select Offset. Now we can offset the line horizontally and vertically. In this example, we will only offset horizontally and maintain the current elevation. Enter 0.5. Press OK. 
The line is now offset 0.5 meters, but on the inside. We want it outside. That's easy. We use the mirror button. Now the line is offset 0.5 meters outside the island. Press OK. Now we can stake it out. We navigate to the line just as we did before. To prepare for this stakeout, it might be really useful to ask the curb crew how many stakes they want and if there's anything else you need to pay attention to. When you are where the first stake should be on the line, mark the spot on the ground. And hammer down the road pin firmly and as vertical as possible. Now we have staked out the horizontal position of the line and marked it with a pin. To stake out the elevation, there are several ways to do this with a rover. Here's one way to do it. Place the rover vertically on the top of the stake. Note down the elevation deviation, for example 10 cm. Using a ruler, measure these 10 cm down from the top of the stake. Mark this place on the stake. Remember to write on the stake what the marking means. When you have placed the required number of road pins on the straight line, tap on the next element to stake out. Follow the same procedure for all elements of the island. That's it. You have learned how to stake out line and arc elements and you had a brief introduction to offsetting a line with your icon field solution. As a logical next step, you may want to watch a video about staking out surfaces.